to the stream and Ghost Recon permadeath mode. And it's going to be an interesting event here. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to dress for success. Meaning that uh, Midas and Noma, basically all our ghosts are going to get a bit of a tune-up. The reason is not that I'm mispleased with their appearance, but we're heading into a, another area where their gear may need to blend in more. And since we're heading to Aqua Verde, uh, we're actually going for not costumes, special outfits. We're going for... Yeah, we're gonna change all of this, by the way. In case you hadn't really figured that out. Uh, no tattoos. Uh, the top will be basically just a tank top uh, there let's see if we can find a very non-military color for it as well yeah a red tank top no vest uh, the pants will be a couple of jeans without knee pads uh, let's just make it white jeans so they look a bit more stylish and of course no ghillie suit uh, as for accessories you can have a pair of oakley's uh, but you can't have well you can't well, you could have a cigar, I suppose. And uh, of, we're not gonna have a shoot me first cap instead. Ooh, look at that. Uh, we're not gonna have that either. Just a standard Bolivia cap. Make you blend in more. And no electronic electronics in the backpack, of course. Uh, the backpack will instead be a standard Y strap. Preferably one that looks like you're on a hike or something. Yep, not really your average tourist, but <clears throat> far better than, you know, the alternative. So, here's the current hold of the team. We see all the Brazilian flags, all the uh, stuff like that. So, we're going to sh shift to Special Outfit 2, and no, we're not going to keep any of that. Uh, instead, you can have a Business Casual that looks a bit like that. No vest. Uh, as for pants, you can actually get away with having a pair of 5.11s. Because I want I want them to look a bit like hikers. Uh, as for eyewear, yeah, you can have a couple of plastic sunglasses. Uh, no face wear. Uh, no headwear. Uh, absolutely no headset. Um, yeah, no gloves either. As for backpack, you can have the Rush 24, so you basically look like a 5'11 person. It's still a bit more military, but it's more like the look at me, I'm military on vacation style. Trust me, I know that style. Uh, so we're, we're gonna switch to set 1 here for you, and you can have a short-sleeved shirt and it's gonna be forest green and uh, the forest green is not olive drab so it works better and you can have a couple of just gray cargo pants going with the, or ah, black cargo pants going with that I think yeah black works right footwear is okay as for accessories no eyewear not a toxic mask, please. I'd, I'm fairly certain the toxic mask would give you away. Earpiece, no handwear, and as for backpack, that is going to be interesting because we can give you a sapper pack and we can make it a bit. We can actually make it uh, the A tax because the A tax look a bit like um, some civilian blue backpack. So you look a less lot less like you're actually some kind of trained assassin right now. So, of course, Cavera still looks the part. And uh, Cavera is not going to put on beach clothing. We tried to convince Cavera to put on her beach clothing. And she absolutely refused. Not kidding. She absolutely refused to put on the beach clothing. So, we're gonna jump into the car here, this little minibus. Hang on, I'll drive. 
And we're gonna drive to our target, which is Aqua Verde, which is basically somewhere around here. So we're gonna find an insertion point. Taking a break for a public service announcement. Do not betray Santa Blanca. You do not fuck with El Sueño, way. Eh? Here is a brief recording of what Jorge and Inca Camina has to say on the topic. Oh, God. Mercy! Mercy! I will hear your confession. Perhaps then Santa Blanca will forgive you. I don't know any... Ah! It was me! My foot! Give it back! Listo, listo, listo. It was me and I gave the Columbus a shipment of Super Coca. It was just one small shipment. Oh, dear Lord, DJ Perico, we'll have to shut him up someday. And there you have it, Rasa. Do not fuck with Santa Blanca. And now, an old favor going out to Jorge. Okay, we have an enemy convoy up ahead. We need to be very careful about that one. But hopefully, uh, redressing most of the team. Did not work because right now they decided that the best way to deal with some very suspicious Santa Blanca was basically to bring up their guns and return fire. We're abandoning the vehicle. Move. Come on, guys. We were trying to actually insert. Copy. We were actually trying to insert quietly, and what happens? We get into a firefight, the first thing that happens. Tango down, move. Roman, we just arrived in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the play? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzita must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. We got some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzita. All right, our boy Carzita. Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a meppy, a Mexican preppy, or a prepsican if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sonny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D. Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint, she just went to rehab for saying something racist. What Carzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before, and it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Okay, so that's basically it. We have also have new skills, so... Uh, we better find a decent skill to use. I think Binocular Recon is a good one. Uh, we can't improve our quiet running, otherwise that would also have been a nice one. An extra sync shot, of course, because we obviously need that. And we can try and return to the outpost we just basically blew through. And uh, despite being compromised the second we actually appeared, I think we're actually going to stick with uh, my backup wearing holiday clothes. So, well, it could come in handy. I don't know. Heads up. Hostiles in the I'm air. just disappointed. I was kind of hoping that uh, we would actually be able to get into Aqua Verde without spooking anyone. And the first thing that happens is we get into a fucking firefight. Speaking of getting into a fucking firefight, we have a cartel on right ahead of us. Tango down. They must be really coked up not to see that. We got bad guys. Yeah, I see them. Okay, we're cool. We 
got civilians danger close. Check your targets before you shoot. We have a house up ahead. Unknown what purpose it serves in the grand scheme of things. But we're gonna check it out. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Got another tango. Tango down. Tango down. This province is part of the cartel's influence operation. Their propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their MO. Man at the top is El Cardinal. An excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. Used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. Spotted the Sicario leader. He looks kind of skittish. Ideal for spreading a little fear. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. Well, I wouldn't trust uh, that glorified voodoo priest with my soul. Uh, let's see if we can't intimidate this guy. Move in. Oh, there's stairs inside now? God fucking damn it. There's no one here to save you, mate. You crying, puto? Tell your SB boss we're coming for him. After we kill him, you can come get revenge. When your balls drop. No mas. I'll tell him. Just let me live. Much as I like fucking with these assholes, part of me thinks we shouldn't have let him walk away. Nah, man. Humiliation's worse than a bullet to a macho dude like that. The rebels are gonna love this. Let's get the intel from this computer. We got the skill points. Uh... Might as well grab some of their ammo. Exfiltration in progress. Let's get out of here. Let's move down towards the outpost and see what we can find in terms of actual usable intelligence. We got the Unidad in the air. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch out. We got company. Possible tango up ahead. Yeah, I see him. He's down. Right. We're not gonna let ourselves be spotted by anything. At least if we can avoid it. Reloaded and ready to go. We're almost at the outpost. They cover behind that big rock. It should shield Heads us up. from. Hustle presence. Hey, cartel lieutenant. Over by the crate of comm gear. Deploying drone. Yeah, I see him. Lots of tangos around here. We got light panels here. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Here's target number five. They are really rocking it hard defending the entrance to Aqua Verde. 
There aren't many entrances either for that matter. So obviously they are putting some work into it. Alright, that's all the intel we're gonna get for now. We also see rebel fighters imprisoned at the facility. Helping them out could bolster our forces for a short time. Especially if stuff starts to go loud. But we're not gonna let them go unless uh, it's called for. We're not gonna take out the guys by the cars either for that matter. Or shall we? We got him. Get down before they see you. The kill was witnessed, but uh, I don't think there's any witness actual left alive. Then go down. They're gonna make you back up. Fucker knows somebody's Lots of them. now. Yeah, they know. Yeah, let's break out the rebels. Shit, they spotted us. They spotted us indeed. Grab a gun. We're fighting them. Basically, they will be useful in covering us. There's a governor from Argentina in town visiting the resort for a piece of trim. We get a recording of those two bumping uglies and blackmailing. That might be enough to get the rest of the VIPs to leave. Let's check where there's weapons. Got him. Secure the house and grab the ammo. Good show, people. We got more intel inside. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Alright, let's have a look at Aqua Verde. We need to get to some place where we can get a boat. Uh, most likely this dock should provide us with a good opportunity to grab a boat and head across the lake. Might as well liberate one of Santa Blanca's cars to go with it. Buckle up, people. Alright, jump inside. I'm in, let's roll. Get inside. Good one. We're almost there. 500 clicks. Sorry, 500 meters. Uh, the casino seems to be guarded, but if we just park the car and walk along the beach, we should find the a boat sooner or later. Coming up on a casino. It must be the cartel. If we destroy that interior, trash the slot machines and tables, VIPs will think twice before coming back here. That ought to be enough for Carzita to drag his ass back to Agua Verde. God, it looks nice. It'll be a shame to fuck it up. Yeah, might as well do it. Casino up ahead. Remember, just demo and destruction. We don't need to drop bodies to trash this place. Let's tear the roof off this motherfucker. Check your target. That civil Damn. That sure that got was a civilian attention. genius. There needed to be some danger to the civilians. If there's no danger to the civilians, they're not going to run. Their LT's escaping. Let the LT escape. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. Careful, people. Yeah, I see the guy. 
Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform? <laughs> Grenade. Break out. They'll have two targets. Yeah, we got him. I need cover inside the building. Still not done. We need to trash more of the casino. Head down. Sniper. Too many civilians here. I can't use grenades. He's Take gone. cover. This sure as hell should get Carzita's attention. Now, are we rolling bones or the table got blown to shit? Table's got blown to shit. Let's go and grab the boat. <sighs> Alright, we're driving the boat. Go on. All aboard. We'll be right with you. All right, navigational point set for the beach. Pretty sweet ride, I have to say that. Almost hit the uh, dirt side, but it uh, looks like we are fine regardless. Let's just head across the lake and try and uh, get the secondary mission done with the Argentinian politician. There's a high profile politician who's using Carzita's resort to hide his flings with local escorts. Get close to this asshole and record his next little fling. We'll post it all over social media and embarrass him and the cartel both. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. Adjusting heading. You need that helicopter on the horizon. Hitting the beach in three, two, one. Hope whoever owned the boat was a rich fuck. Okay, so we can't be detected. Climb a bit, people. Bad guys in the area. Roger that. Uh, we'll have to watch this waterfall, make sure we don't get dragged down with it. Get to cover. Someone on the street there is looking straight at us. We can't be detected, not now. Let's go. 
Need to get closer to the hotel. Much closer. Kind of annoying. It's one narco. Sticking close to that Santa Blanca pickup. It is far too bright for night vision, but it's also too quiet, uh, too uh, not dark enough for. Coming up on target's win. Let's keep this quiet. Keep it quiet. We get caught, our days is peeping toms are over. We're recording. Audio levels are good. Just make sure you get a good shot of his face. What do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. Oh, dirty. Pero muy sucio. Sure thing, papacito. Have you been a bad boy? So bad. Let's get a better look at his face. We need more different angles as well. Drone is running low on batteries. Need to get the drone out of there. Alright. We can't just jump down there, but we got it. Alright, we can't grab Intel down the road, so we better grab a car or walk or whatever. Make sh oh crap, cartel. Better do this quietly. I got a cartel sniper inside the barn. Take a look. Roger that, I see him. 100 meters, easy pickings. What the fuck was that? Whatever the fuck it was, we got it. Carzita's days as a cartel pimp are over. I want to watch that shit again. Secure the building with the sniper rifle. We need to make sure that it was the only one there. Yeah, confirm it. It was the only one. I'm actually kind of tempted to pick up this rifle. I mean, it really fits Kevera, this one. I just wish that my joystick and Hotas would not interfere with uh, the Nvidia Ansel, because it's really annoying to get the, get the angles you want when it's interfering like this. Oh well, we're done with NVIDIA Ansel for the moment, we can pick up our 416 again, if it's still there. Nope, looks like our 416 was offered to Sapper Daddy. So, all we do have now is an M... Well, we could put a sniper round on him, just to... Make them a bit nervous, but I don't see, really see the point. We'll grab our sidearm and head for the intelligence at the next place instead. Besides, this sniper rifle is not suppressed. I'm not sure we... Yeah, now it's suppressed. goes down. We're cool, we're cool. They're down. Send the blanket down. We clear up the house and hopefully get all the info info we need. He's down. Good I show, got a people. Over here. That was close. Next to the pool. Copy on next to pool. You'd think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal. We got a 20 on Kazita's assistant. 
Bowman thinks taking him out will help draw Chrissy to back. Let's move. Roger that. God damn it. Not good. Not they good at here. all. Locating Rebel Ops. This pinpoints one of the Sicario leaders for us. Let's use him to spread some anxiety. <sighs> that was not good. We'll leave a marker so the Rebels can pick up these supplies later. Well, at least we got a sniper rifle to deal with uh, Carcita's assistance. Um, or not. We did not do. We, did we not get where the fuck he was? Oh well. Let's get on this helicopter, and we can use it to fly to the next uh, intel area, and grab what intel we can there. I'm on. All aboard, one click away. Welcome aboard. Night vision is engaged. Stay low. All right, let's set her down here. Or maybe a little bit further up. Yeah, right here. Hold up, we got hostile activity. Rifles. Heavily armed helicopter. I see a second target. I can only confirm two targets. Can anyone see more? The rebels need supplies badly, and that chopper's got them. Let's snag that bird and get it turned in the right direction. Roger that. Moving. Roger. Target marked. Good one. Tango down. Their lieutenant's on the run. I got him. Okay, we're cool. Watch the cliff face. That looked like a long way down. Oh, crap. Ah, just because of that, that happened. That's just embarrassing. Okay, I mean, I mean, Permadef is on. So, uh, could you guys please pick me up before I actually bleed out? If I die due to this, it's going to be so fucking embarrassing. I really mean that it's going to be fucking embarrassing. Thanks. Thank you. I mean, I, I've been knocked out a couple of times, but... Being knocked out due to falling down would be so embarrassing. We got civilians danger close. Check your target before you shoot. Roger that. These advertisements for a cartel owned resort give its location. Doing damage to that would fuck Carzita's business sideways. Mark the captain. He's down. All right, breathe easy. He's down. He's down. The tango. He's close to that local. Apparently, it's so dark here they can barely see us. Let's grab the supplies on the dock. We're close to the dock. And then we make free with the helicopter. Let's see what I want it delivered. Hold up. We're gonna see you. Yeah, we're clear. We can deliver it there. Let's just hope the supplies was actually not meant for the villagers. That would be awkward indeed.
Watch the low flying. We don't want to collide with the resort. We might want to. Uh, Looks like a hell of a resort. A cartel owned resort. Let's go scare off some rich folk, fuck with the cartel's tourism, and get Carzita's ass back to Agua Verde. Not just yet, we need to park the helicopter first. Setting her down. Nice job. I'll ping the chopper's location to the rebels so they can take ownership. Alright, we got an ammo box here. Okay, so here's the deal. We can uh, blow up this uh, resort, but for that we need to change our weapon. We can't do that with uh, a picked up uh, M40, but we need something more respectable if we're gonna blow shit up. Now, of course, there are a lot of things here that can be used to blow shit up. I would have preferred some kind of machine gun, but... Um, we don't really seem to have that many. The closest thing we have are AK variants with drum mags. So I think we're going to pick one of them. And uh, as for... I think we're going to increase our stamina a bit. As well as make sure we have mines. Increase drone range and inc decrease hip fire spread. There we go. We can take the helicopter back, but I don't really see the point of that. There is, however, a helicopter a bit further away. If that one is armed, we might have more use of that. No, it's not armed, but we'll make use of it anyway. Airborne assaults are more impressive anyway. I'm good. Crank it. Pull aboard. Lights off. Time we put Carzita's resort out of business. Give it the full rock star treatment. Just don't hurt any of the guests. Copy all. Well, the first thing a rockstar would do would be to jump in parachute, right? So we're gonna climb to a decent um, height and... Pull the cords. There is a helicopter coming on down. Let's see about landing we on the roof. Tango's danger close. Copy that. Cartel gunmen. Point them out. By the building. Hello. I need to grab the. Yeah, we don't need the ammo. Let's check about that commendation because we might need that one. Looks like it came from a box of cereal at the Air Force or something. Okay, so we've basically fucked up. We managed to go noisy before every before anything else. If this ain't a place, I don't know what is. We're shooting everything just to wait. We need to hold them off. Thankfully, the cartel doesn't have any sort of uh, night vision. Going hot. Go. Roger. Watch out! Make sure no one sneaks up on us from behind. We need to hold this ground. Targets marked. Good to go. Roger on targets.
frag out. Shit balls. Shit balls confirmed. No, take cover. Tango down. I got him. Tango is near the building. Crap. I need a pickup. I need a big fucking pick up. Come on, get me up. Thank you. <laughs> now uh, all I need is more ammo. Damn, that was close. Should be on the second floor. Put him in a body bag. We got it. Helicopter inbound. Shift position. Copy. Shift position and get over here so you can defend Shift. my back. Down, down. Helicopter. Well, they know they know we're here now. Got him. Nice show. Explosive away. Grab more ammo. Ten seconds. We need to be fucking careful right now. Shit. Man down. Man down, everyone exfiltrate. Contact, by the building. Frag out. Move. Rally on me. Roger, moving. We need to help Midas. I got you, man. Just hang tight. I'm heading your way. Get her up. Okay, car up ahead. Uh, we'll damn, grab that's it. That's gonna hurt in the morning. No, wait. We'll grab the helicopter instead. Helicopter will take us further away. Covering fire. All aboard. Let's go. He's done enough damage to Cosita's resort. I think the rest of these guests are going to check out. A bunch of dudes shooting off guns tends to have that effect. We managed to get away safely. Cosita's the cartel's front man. But it's his assistant that keeps the resort running. Take him out, and we'll force Corzita's hand. Okay, so we need to detect the guy first and remain undetected. This is not going to be that easy. Or rather, it's going to be more easy since it's ra you know, raining and night and stuff like that. Could have been worse. It could have been broad daylight with sun and everything. with a submachine Bowman, gun. red location. Carzita's assistant have any identifying characteristics? Nothing we're 100% on. You should have a few listening devices in your loadout. And we got detected the first thing that happened and I have no idea how. I have literally no, no fucking clue how we... how we got detected. I, I don't know. All I know is that we got detected. Somewhat annoying.
Well, at least as we... At least, as long as we don't die, we are pretty safe. Because here's the thing, you can't actually fail missions. Uh, you, you just can't die. But fail missions doesn't count as dying. And that is a nice thing, because if failing missions counted as dying, we would have a... Well, the game would be over right now. I'm not even sure I would try permadeath with uh, mission failed being the same thing as... Uh, ah, never mind. So we're gonna go in there and plant some listening devices. And it's not going to be an easy thing at all. Uh, in fact, this is one of the more trickier missions. And later in Aqua Verde, we go are going to end up with another one of the more tricky missions. Got some hostile activity. Uh, I That's think it's the I think it's the last the one. Or sorry about the interruption. No worries. Let's make this quick. Bowman, we're at the location. Carzita's assistant have any identifying characteristics? Nothing we're one hundred percent on. You should have a few listening devices in your loadout. Try bugging some of the areas where a lot of the VIPs hang out. One of them could give us the assistant's location. I'll call you when we hear something. And remember. The bugs won't be worth shit if they spot you. Stay out of sight, people. Plant the bugs and diddy mouth. Don't even cast a shadow. All right. Okay, so we have one guy on the balcony. The interesting thing is that we can actually kill people, but the kill can't the kill can't be witnessed. That was fucking close. Also, they can't find any of the dead bodies, so yeah. Because as long as long as it's just the dead bodies, they'll just think that oh, these people got got a bunch of coke and. Yeah, basically they're idiots. They don't they don't check for bugs as long as uh, people are dead. But if they spot someone on the premises, then then of course they're gonna check everything. Placing a bug. They should pick up enough dirt for Bowman to get the location of Carzita's assistant. We'll blast the LT. Yeah, let's blow this guy's brains on the way out. Good, we clear. Let's go. Sadly, our chopper is not there anymore. Neither is any boat for that matter, but as long as we break contact, the rest should be easy. Carzita's assistant is as popular as a JV cheerleader on the pill. The bugs picked up a guest mentioning where he is. I'm sending you the location now. Tango Mike. Don't waste any time with this guy. Just kill him and be done with it. Roger that. Nomad out. Okay, so he's in this town. Uh, we should try and get a helicopter or something that we can actually use as transportation to the objective. There are none at the Pachua Mansion, however. Uh, we could try and see if there's any boats, but that would be down at the this dock. We'll see if there's any boats down at the dock. But we're also going to need an ammo crate because uh, I just want to make this clean. Meaning. Yeah, there's no one down there. Oh crap. Uh, I think we are. I don't think we're gonna survive that fall. So, we're actually going to do this thing. I don't want to die from another fall, not with permadeath on. Everybody hold up. We got hostiles in the See, area. this is one of the things that affects your behavior, because I don't know if I actually have a, a revive to spend here. And since I don't know, uh, I'm not going to risk dying. Alright, let's drive this boat. 
We could actually drop by uh, the safe house here and grab our sniper rifle. To the market, Jeeves. I know it's hot and everything, but let's get in the boat. We'll head by the safe house uh, on our way there and pick up a uh, marksmanship rifle. Not necessarily a sniper one, but a marksmanship one. So that we can uh, arm ourselves accordingly for the operation. Also, hopefully that Unidad helicopter will not be spotting us at the safe house. You know, you could have just went off the boat at the other side. You know that, right? Nope. Apparently swimming is the new fad here. Let's go up and get another loadout. So, what should we get? We could get uh, the cowboy assault rifle or a big fucking shotgun. Not really what we're looking for. Of course, we could get the BFG. Uh, a 50 caliber sniper rifle. But it's a, it's a big bit uh, in the way. And the SE 4000, well, it doesn't really look like to be a comfortable weapon, does it now? We could get the Dragunov. It's a classic thing. I mean, it basically looks a lot, a lot communist. There's also the PSG-1, which I actually do like. Or we could spice things up by using his AK-47. I mean, it's basically the agony of choice here. But I do think that uh, tried and true is the best option. So we are going to get uh, this thing. And of course, it's. We're gonna grab it with a bigger magazine, a long barrel, and a suppressor to boot. Uh, never mind, we can actually take it with a short barrel. So it's basically easier to conceal. Uh, as for paint, hmm. Let's just go with the Dark Earth's paint scheme and increase our stable aim. We're loaded up and good to go. I have no idea what you're doing, Holt, but stop that. It's creeping me out. Off we go. Okay, here's the game plan, kids. We find a high spot where we can get a get a visual on the guy. Once we have it, we use the sniper rifle to take him out. One shot if we can do it. Let's move it. There's gotta be some intel we can dig up around here. Yeah, there's some intel up ahead. Let's hit the deck and use our drone to find the guy. Tangos. Lots of cartel in the area.
Switching to sidearm. Sweep and clear this building. Marking an enemy. Tango down. We're in the zone. Just spotted one. I got eyes on Kazita's assistant. Copy that. Got eyes. Switching to sniper rifle. Oh, come on! That was the assistant is down. I say again, the assistant is down. Won't be long till Carzita has to come handle his business personally. Nomad, the activity's just intercepted a call. You caused enough trouble that Carzita's back in Aqua Verde. He's gonna throw a party every day of the week. He's hoping to convince people that things are all right. Where's the party? His place. I think you should crash it. Make him give up that guest list. That's exactly what I had in mind. Nomad out. Thank you for your cooperation. Shifting position. It's getting lighter here. We can't stay when it's getting light. We need a helicopter. And there's one right there. Let's grab it. All aboard. Let's crash the party. Zeta's going for broke. Staging I'll pilot. a lavish party to try and win back his most valuable targeted. guests after the mess you made in Aqua Verde. Crash the party and grab Carcita. His days as a high roller are done. This thing is carrying guns. Nice. Head for the landing place at the top of the island. I'll give Carzita this much. That boy does not know when to fucking quit. How do you mean? We turned that resort upside down. Did everything but burn the place to the ground and salt the damned ashes. Anybody else would have taken the hint. <laughs> but Carzita? That son of a bitch throws himself a party. Hold up. I got a target carrying a submachine gun. Let's crash the party the best way possible. Using guns. Engaging, they know we're here. Taking fire. Can't go down. I do not have a clear shot. Oh well, let's put her down. Keep an eye out for our boy Carzita. How the hell are we supposed to find Carzita in the middle of all that? Stay out of sight. Search the crowd until we spot Carzita. Then we move in. Clear? Copy that, boss. Let's get back on mission. We turn that resort upside down. Did everything but burn the place to the ground and salt the damn ashes. Anybody else would have taken the hint. <laughs> but Carzita? That son of a bitch throws himself a party. Maybe this one. Find some fucking cover. Finding cover.
Need help. Do not kill Karzita. We need the HVT alive to give up what he knows. Hands, hands, hands. Don't you move. Relax, eh? I'm not doing anything. Watch it, Nako. This suit is worth more than everything you own. Ah! Oh, Sam, this is bullshit. I want to talk to my lawyer. I always lawyer? love this scene. <laughs> We're in the big leagues, asshole. The only thing your lawyer can do now is make sure your will's in order. Hey, hold on now. Let's work this out. How much money do you want? 500,000? I can do it. It's easy for me. You know who my father is? Ah! I don't give a fuck about money, Carzita. I work for the U.S. government. We spend billions of dollars on hand sanitizer alone. Pork barrels, fuck face. Ah! What do you want from me? I want a list of names of everyone who's ever visited your little resort. I don't know, man. Te lo juro. Ah, all right, fine. You didn't get this from me, but all the guest info stored on a server, okay? Gah! Let's grab his little commendation. Take it for our own. And to make sure all the other guests get the message. Hello. Let's keep the guns down. People are raging enough already. Understand that the cartel cannot save you. Understand that the cartel will not save you. Understand that I am not pleased. I think they will remember that. Or at least I hope so. Let's get back to the helicopter. Dawn has broken and... Chopper, stay long. Yeah, that might complicate things if he called Unidad or if anyone here is affiliated with Unidad. <laughs> Let's get on top of. Yeah, they're investigating. Engaging hostiles. All right, it's gone. But the unit is sending out patrols. We need to disengage and head for the safe house. Unidad can patrol that area as much as they want, but the party's not gonna be restarted. We're gonna set her down and reload. Good one. All right, let's switch to the MP5. Bowman, we're good in Agua Verde. These VIPs won't be coming back. Plus, Carzita gave up the guest list. On our way to the server now. Good. Let's wrap this up. Bowman out. Let's extend our butt stock. There we go. And we are good to go. <sighs> Last one on the list. We've got intel on a server containing a list of VIPs who've had ties with Carzita's resort. Hack the server and get me that list. Roger that, Bowman. This is not going to be easy. I'm not a fan of this mission at all. We're going to try to uh, approach the target from the back. Land the helicopter and go quietly. Once this VIP list gets into the open, all hell's going to break loose. 
cartel's gonna lose connections all over the world. I would not want to be Carzito when El Sueño finds out. I heard that. You best find some place where Santa Blanca can't get to him, like Mars or the bottom of the fucking Mariana's trench. Carzito will be fine. People like him always find a way to survive. He'll probably drop out of sight and then turn up in a year or two running a resort on the fucking Riviera. God looks out for drunks and fools. And sleazy motherfuckers named Carzita. Tango. He's down. Keep it moving. Once we've dropped one, we need to drop more of them before the rest are alerted to our presence. All right, let's storm the tower. There's most likely a stand up like a guard in this tower. We got a Sicario. Let's say there. hi to your friends. Okay. The Hopefully the oh crap, there's a jammer in place here. The drone's being jammed. This is not good. I can see at least four tangos on visual. Great mortars. Mortars alone should be clear to engage. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Mortar operator is down. Let's go. We got limited time before someone spots the guy and one is why the hell he's dead. Too late. They found him. Watch it. Let's try and do this quietly if we can. Engaging Tango. Starting downward. Stay sharp. Mine here. Planning a mine. Give me a sec. Mine here. While we wait for the download. I'll make sure things are nice and quiet on Chopper top. Incoming. Target's confirmed. Ready to assault. They're coming right for us. Roger on coming right for us. Get the dirt. Get the fuck down. Shit, they spotted us. Got him. We got the helo. I think I would prefer to have a. Yeah, we got him. Nice work. Grenade, grenade. Let's grab the commendation. for some rebels to back us up. We need fire support. Get us the mortars. Man down. Man down. Copy that. Shut down. We're not in a good position here. We're also running low on ammo and there's no ammo box up here. God fucking damn it. Frag out. Get Frag out. Got him. Frag out. My team is incapacitated. One minute. And we're out of grenades. The nice thing is that I don't think there are that many enemies left. At least I don't think so. Once the hack is complete, we'll run for the chopper. Get to the chopper. <sighs> However, if there's no one to actually rescue us if things go south we are in a world of fucking trouble 
I'm dead serious about this. We have a really difficult thing here. Download complete. Okay, now we need to retrieve the fucking list as well. All right, so we have move, move and equip a suppressor. Once that is done, sniper down, down. Ah, crap! That came from inside the HQ building. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make this. Crap. We are in a fucking world of all the shit. At least we got the ammunition, so at least there's that. Come on! That was just mean. They... I mean, it's almost like they knew I was trying to go for the heal. Once we get one up, the rest will come automatically. Thank you. Or rather, let's grab the list and get the fuck you. out of here. Bowman, Agua Verde is all clear. It'll take them years to repair these relationships. Carzita's business in Agua Verde is done. Some people on that VIP list are gonna get very uncomfortable meetings. Government heavies are gonna ask what the fuck they were doing in Bolivia. We're doing good. Keep hitting them hard. Got him. Ramon Feliz, blogger, academic, internet journalist. All he ever wanted was to tell the truth. But whose truth? His? Feliz thought that there is only one truth. But we know that truth, like history, is written by the winner. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So, I hired hackers to track him down, and offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. All Ramon Feliz ever wanted was to tell the truth. Now, he had more truth than he could bear. Okay, let's get hold up. Uh, oh shit, that still hurts. Yep, and now we get the Boosh, tango down. Let's move. There's a helicopter here and we need to get it out of here. All ghosts, mount up. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Roger that. In fact, something we can do... ...is a bit of vengeance. Alright, let's head for the safe house. We're at the safe house, we should be good. God damn it, it was close. I almost thought we were gonna die there. I was actually quite convinced we were gonna die. Alright. Reloading. You got Carcita's VIP list? None of those pinchy politicians and judges are gonna help Santa Blanca with nothing no more. Okay, so go to this location. Roger that. Let's have a bit of a team photo for Aqua Verde. Just. Bit of a team photo, yeah. Uh, 
actually, I think I want to narrow the field of view a bit, and there we have it. Nice one. Okay, so let's uh, grab our just reward from the Ubisoft store. And grab our brand new prestige crate. First unlock was successful. Uh, go to the battle crates page and. And of course, we got a duplicate. The Liberator Tattoo, which we got from one of the packs. At least we got uh, the count towards the pack, but I mean, that was basically just worth, what, 10 Ghost Recon credits or something like that. There's not really much you can buy with 10 credits or even, you know, 30, so. But we managed to get Aqua Verde and clear it out. So, actually, let's have a look at our total here. Uh, we have killed La Yuri and uh, uh, El Polito. We have taken out Carcida. We have uh, dispatched El Emisario. We haven't actually gotten any of the uh, armor gear pieces yet. But we are working on it. So all we have to do now is basically decide whom of all these we should take out next. And until we have done so, I will see you guys next time.